this just in. I am Brennan Gation. There seems to have been a biological attack on Powers, Michigan. This instance could lead to a future conflict. Now on to my news reporter, Jared, with the on-scene report. Thank you, Brendan. There seems to have been a biological attack on Powers, a small rural village in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm here with Emily, who is a resident of Powers. What did you see here today, Emily? Well, I was sitting in my rocking chair in my living room when a bomb went off in the local park. And what did you do when you saw the flash? I ducked and covered like Dirk the Turtle. There you have it. Now, back to Brendan in the studio. For two decades, the Russians have held an offensive biological warfare program that actually violates an international treaty called the Biological Weapons Convention, or the BWC, which actually outlaws biological weapons. Even though Russia denies having the bioweapons on hand, they are very likely to be the source of this attack because of all the stockpile of weapons they have. Now, we're going to go back into the field to Jessica Thompson, our news reporter. I am here with General Harris. Sir, what do you think the U.S. plans of retaliation will be? First, we must find who's truly responsible for these savage acts of terrorism. Then, we will bomb them back to the Stone Age. Thank you for those enlightening words. Now back to Brendan in the studio. Now we are going to throw you guys over to President John Sanchez for an important message. Good evening, my fellow Americans. I am President John Sanchez. I've gathered you all here today to discuss a global crisis. It is confirmed that the Russians are the ones who attacked Powers, Michigan. Mr. President, how is the United States planning to deal with this dilemma? Dude, are we going to war with them or what? We don't know, old sport. But know this, we will recover. Because we are America! Thank you for that uplifting speech, President Sanchez. As a result of Russia's attacks, who knows what will happen next? We must stay alert for the possibility of, of other attacks. Be prepared to evacuate at any time. But just remember, stay classy, Powers. This just in. There has been a savage. <laughs> you can have this screwed up. This just in. I am Brendan Gation. There seems to have been a savage attack on Polar Michigan. This could instance to lead you on. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Brendan. There seems to have been a biological attack on Towers, a small rural village in the Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Now I'm here with Emily, who is a resident of Powers. What did you see here today, Emily? Well, I was sitting in my rocking chair in my living room, and I saw a bomb come up. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Just breathe, breathe. Breathe. I am here with General Harris. Sir, what do you think? <laughs> I am here. Just, just keep going. I am here. We're going to leave most of the stuff right now. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for that uplifting speech, President Sanchez. As we go, <laughs> you can have it up on your hand, in your hands too, because some people take and hold them in your hands. Thank you for that uplifting speech, President Sanchez. As a result of Russia's attack, we don't know what will happen next. We just need to stay alert for the possibility of uprising attack. Be prepared and uprising right. attacks, <clears throat> dude. <laughs> Apparently, we're revolting now. We're, we're, we're revolting against the president, <laughs> man. No. Of another attack. That. Possibility of another attack. Okay. Thank you for that uplifting speech, President. Hey, perhaps Sanchez. you should take that off. <laughs> Actually, I'm taking this off too. Dude, how are we gonna how are we gonna do this, man? What? We're like, done. No, 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 no. The last line. Like, are we gonna wage war, man? What? Mm -hmm.